Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is day 16. Um, <clears throat> and day 16, I don't have my note card. Um, this is what the Holy Spirit has gotten me to talk about today. And that is fearfully made. Um, you have to forgive me. I'm a little stuffy this morning. Um, I was helping somebody pull weeds yesterday. Um, and I have a grass allergy. But I did it anyway, <laughs> you know, just to definitely get my hands in the garden and that type of thing. It was definitely fun. It was definitely a workout. Um, I'm supposed to help that individual today um, to do to finish the job. So, <clears throat> like I said, I sound like this because I have a grass allergy. So, let's go ahead and get right into Psalms 5, a morning prayer. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning. Let's turn it down a little bit. Turn it down just a little bit. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell in thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy light sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will pour the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship toward the holy temple. <clears throat> Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because I am my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. And there is no faithfulness in their mouth. The inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy them thou, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those who put their trust in the Lord <clears throat> in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him with the shield. And that is Psalms 5. Now let's armor up um, against any type of enemy sent from the enemy sent to attack us. <clears throat> he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. <clears throat> his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall <clears throat> bear up thee in their hands, and lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. See, I have a guest. This one's Johnny. They're supposed to be eating. But anyway, wanted to talk about um, being fearfully made. Somebody else has to join in the fun. This is Xander. This is Xander. Um, but wanted to talk about being uh, fearfully made in God. Yesterday in Sunday school, um, my, my Sunday school class that I'm participating in, we're reading Joyce Meyer's Battlefield of the Mind, which is an awesome book, by the way. Um, and we're talking, we were reading a chapter about self-pity. Um, and it is, it was, it resonated with me big time because sometimes, 
um <clears throat> and i will transparency moment um you know i was in a relationship for a long time and you know finding out that that individual has moved on so quickly will have you thinking to yourself like man something is wrong with me what is wrong with me you know um that individual tried to point out that you know that i'm in the wrong because i could never get a man because i'm acting this way and it, and because that person said what he said about me in relationships um it just dove me down into a pit of self-pity um <clears throat> it had me thinking like man you know maybe i'm not gonna find that husband or maybe i'm just not you know fit for this and so it's very easy to start going into a pit of despair um and <clears throat> my own experiences is that it's just so important that we stay in the word and we stay prayed up because uh i don't believe that according to what it says in ephesians 6 that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood meaning we don't wrestle against people um we don't wrestle against that actual person um but we wrestle against <clears throat> in my own understanding in my own translation of it um, that we wrestle against uh, rulers of this dark world. Um, so, you know, in his mind, um, the enemy used his mind for him to put something out to say something like that. Oh, well, based off of what I know as a man's standard, not God's standard, but as a man's standard, you're never going to get a man. Um, <clears throat> and that was pretty painful to say. I, I, didn't, I didn't think he had it in him to even say something like that. But, and this is very loosely said what he said. So, um, but that is definitely how I interpreted that I'll just never find somebody. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, especially when you are, you know, when the intent is marriage, when you really want to date to marry. Um, and so when you're told that it can be painful. Um, and like I said, that's when you start going into self-pity, you start doubting yourself. Um, <clears throat> and Joyce Myers had said something um, that was very much so that stood out to me. Self-pity is an idol because um, it gets into our minds and we really start believing what we're what the enemy is saying to us. And it's just uh, Isaiah uh, 55 and... Oh, Isaiah 55, 17, Isaiah 54, 17 says, no weapon that is formed against me, thee shall prosper. I said me, but you put me there too, but it says thee, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. Let me write that down to make sure I include that in the notes. So anytime anybody says anything to you about or anything that anybody says that is contrary to the promises of what God and his word says about you, it's in this word, no weapon that is formed against, you could say your name, you could say your family, you primarily say your name, no weapon that is formed against Patrice shall prosper, and every tongue that riseth against Patrice in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Right here in his word. <clears throat> and so, um, sometimes when people say things, we have to be mindful that we're not fighting them per se. Um, we're fighting deaf personalities that were developed from outside sources from what they've seen what they've experienced and that's my own interpretation and when people say things especially when you desire marriage and you desire a relationship an individual says things that are very contrary to um the word of god and the promises of god so i do encourage you get into the word and see what it says pray talk to god but Psalms 39, 14 says, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. <clears throat> Again, right in this book. Right in this book. 
All right, now I'm going to go to Genesis 5, 1 through 2, way in the front of the book, way in the front of the book. <coughs> I said, excuse me, my allergies to grass are crazy. But let me go to Genesis 1, 26, <coughs> which says, and God said, let us make man... There's a whole uh, reading about creation. Let us make man in our own image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he him male and female created he them. <coughs> so we are says in his word we are the likeness of god uh psalms 139 14 says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made so automatically we're perfect we're perfect in god's eyes we're perfect in his kingdom because we're charged to be rulers of everything we have dominion over it um <clears throat> but it's when we start getting around people that put us under self-pity we lose that we forget that and sometimes what i encourage you to do and this is what i've done in the past take one verse that definitely resonates with you that definitely um has been led to you by the holy spirit that what it says about who you are and whose you are and your creation and your likeness of you um because <clears throat> one thing about me um even though i'm not with that man god has somebody for me his in God's will for sure like it, you know if it's in God's will somebody is for me that is out there um and that recognizes that I'm God's creation and vice versa I gotta recognize that the brother is God's creation too so you have to treat God's creation with kindness I, I just picked up two dogs as interesting as they are they are part of God's creation so it's so important that we treat everything that was created by God as if <clears throat> As if you got to, you know, as if, well, you have to be good stewards of it. Eventually it has to be returned to God. So you want to make sure you return it to God in good condition, right? So same thing. So uh, <clears throat> Genesis 5 says, Genesis 5, 1 and 2 says, This is the book of generations of Adam. And the day that God created man and the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day that they were created. So again, <clears throat> just pick a verse and remind yourself that you are created in God's image. You're perfect to God. And, it, and let this be a small little inspirational message for somebody who might be really deep in self-pity, might not be feeling pretty. I have been there. Um, or there's parts of me, I have, let me, I'm gonna give you a small transparent story. I have hyperpigmentation. I have it on my hands. I have it on my elbows. I have it on parts of my face and growing up, um, <laughs> growing up, I was told that, you know, I get crispity chocolate <laughs> and that I should stay out of the sun. Um, now I grown up, I'm thankful that, 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 that spirit never really um, stayed with me because I didn't care. I love being outside. So um, I love my complexion. I love how soft it is. I absolutely love it. Even its imperfections because that's what makes me, me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but just remember, like, as ladies, we're beautiful. You're beautiful. Don't let nobody tell you anything different because... It's been confirmed right here in God's word that we were made perfectly. Okay, we were made perfectly. Um, <clears throat> and if you choose, if you choose to alter your body in any shape, okay? Um, first off, talk to God first. Talk to God first. If that is something that God has directed you to do to your body, by all means, <laughs> you're still beautiful anyway whether you change your body or not it don't matter do you okay um if you don't decide to change your body and you decide to you know get up and work out i mean whatever 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 the case may be you want to you want to buy a butt or 
or go create it in the gym. I don't care. Just know that if God told you to um, do those things all to your body, by all means, do what you do. Do what God says. OK. Um, and the same thing with the fellas. You're handsome, too. You're absolutely handsome, handsome black brothers, white brothers, Asian brothers, Hispanic brothers, um, <clears throat> brothers who reside in the Middle East. Uh, I don't I know there's so many nationalities there and I don't want to butcher it incorrectly um, to my African brothers, to my Russian brothers. You know, it it don't. <laughs> We are so perfect. God has made us perfectly in his image. And that is such a blessing. God is so good. Okay. So uh, I just want to, I felt that in my spirit this morning to really talk about being fearfully made. Um, I mean, we're just, we're just perfect. And sometimes, and I'm guilty of this, sometimes I will go down that road of self-pity thinking in my head, like, you know, I will, small story. Um, I, I've always been, I was, I'm, I'm semi-tall, I'm five, six. So one of my physicians said I'm on the short side of tall. So many, meaning that even though I am a tall female, <laughs> I'm considered, cause I'm on, I'm five, six, I'm on the other side of five, five, I'm tall, but I'm the shorter side of tall. What physician would tell you that? Only one position I had told me that was joking, but I was like, what does that mean? Um, I have big feet. Um, I've always had big feet. I've been a size 10 since I was eight, <laughs> actually nine. No, I took that back. I was a size 10. I've been a size 10 since maybe I was 11. Cause I remember wearing my mom's shoes in middle school and my mom was a size eight and a half at the time. And I was wearing an eight and a half. And I promise you two weeks later, I could, the eight and a half hurt. And I remember telling mom, I can't fit this shoe. She was like, oh my God, your foot grew overnight. It did. It did. And so needless to say, I wear a size 10 shoe. Um, <clears throat> I never had hips. <laughs> I never had hips. Um, I've always been kind of built, sort of kind of athletic. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've never had hips. I've always been kind of small. I've never really been small, but... Um, you know, I, I'm aware that well, I'm aware of what weight gain looks like on me for me. Um, so it, it's a lot of layers to really appreciate your body, um, and appreciate what God gave you. Um, now talk to God before you decide to alter and change anything by all means. It's so important that you're safe and your dealings with body. Oh my, look, listen, I don't get into it. Um, if I were to, then help me get rid of some fat, you know, put it in my hips, whatever, right? But, um, it's just so important that we remember that we are, are fearfully and wonderfully made and we're made in God's creation and that there's somebody absolutely perfect for us to complement that creation. Uh, ladies understand that we are our future husband's rib. So yeah, just, bunch of, just imagine, and this just came to my mind, we're just a bunch of little ribs, just kind of walking around, um, ready to be fit into uh, whoever our Adam is. Um, just keep on working like Ruth. Keep on working right like Ruth um, and keep and stay focused and stay loyal in areas where you need to stay loyal and your Boaz will be right in front of you. I'm speaking that to you and to myself, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's really it. Um, I just think about that book, Joyce Meyer, when she said um, that self-pity is an idol. Poof, that's real tough right there. Real, real tough. Um, yeah, it's, you know, definitely for sure talk to God about any any type of body modifications for sure you want to listen to god read his word and say and see what it says first before you do anything like that because god created us perfectly um <clears throat> and understandably you know there might be some things that you're just not completely comfortable with and, and that's okay
that's okay. Don't let anybody beat you up to think that you're wrong for feeling this way about a particular part of your body that you that you feel comfortable and feel led to fix. So important. Uh, you know, God, if God confirmed it, by all means, do it. But um, you're you're beautiful either way, before and after. Brothers, you are handsome either way, before and after. I love I'll love you to life either way. Same thing with the sisters. Y'all are gorgeous. Y'all are gorgeous. But anyway, uh, just figure I would that came onto my heart today. Um, it was a short one as I have to walk my doggies before I go train. So um pray for me as I pray for you. Uh there's so many transitions going on in my family. Um and a lot of career related things that I have to get through. So keep me in your prayers. Um, and definitely I put the email for prayer requests. So definitely pray, reach out, um, for prayer requests and we're going to get together and we're going to be reminded that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. <clears throat> Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is the day that you have made, Lord, and we will rejoice and be glad in it, Lord. We will be glad, Lord. We will be glad that you have made us perfectly, Lord. That you have made us perfectly, Lord. That you have made us in like your like in your image, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you that we are perfect according to you, Lord. And Lord, we won't be distracted by what society says and what uh, the rulers of the of dark places and what uh, princes or principalities says about our image, Lord. But Lord, we are pleasing and acceptable in your sight because you have made us in your image, Lord. And we thank you so much, Lord. We thank you. We thank you so much, Lord, that that you have made us perfectly, Lord, and that you gave us dominion, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And in that dominion, Lord, forgive us of all of our sins, Lord, and we repent of things that we were given dominion and we took advantage of, Lord, and we or we were poor stewards of, Lord. Forgive us of those things, both known and unknown, Lord. <clears throat> Father God in heaven, I'm praying for the brother or the sister at the sound of my voice, Lord, that might be struggling in the areas of image or, or self-worth or pity, Lord, or self-pity, Lord. We we rebuke that 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 mindset that is attacking their minds right now, Lord, and we bind up what the enemy says negatively about them, Lord, and we and we lose peace and joy into their lives. We 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 lose the word of God, Lord, that speaks to how fearfully and wonderfully made they are, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for healing of those that might be battling sickness and illness or infirmities, Lord, that may have altered what they feel as though that has tore apart their image, Lord. But we, Lord, we thank you, God, that you have made them fearfully and wonderfully made, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that that the if there is any opportunity, Lord, that they feel led, Lord, that they want to change their body, Lord, we pray that it is in your perfect will, Lord, to do so, Lord. But we thank you, Lord, for the function of our limbs, our minds, our bodies, our organs, our fingers, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all functions of the hands, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us abundantly, Lord, with good health, Lord, and waking us up in our right mind, Lord. We thank you for these things right now, Lord. And Lord, I pray for those that might be that might be struggling, Lord, to accept themselves, Lord. Lord, forgive us of idolizing self-pity, Lord. Forgive us of going down that pit of despair, Lord. Forgive us of those things that we have idolized, Lord, that, have, that don't line up with your word, Lord. Forgive us of those things right now, Lord. And Lord, those who might be dealing with self-pity or low self-esteem or low self-confidence or insecurities, Lord, any of those things that are attacks and the traps of the enemy, Lord, we rebuke that right now in the name of Jesus. And we pray that the angels be encamped around their homes and their cars, Lord. And we pray that <clears throat> we pray that the attacks of the enemy, Lord, we pray that the Holy Ghost would speak to them, Lord, and remind them that they are fearfully and wonderfully made and that the angels will be encamped around them, protecting them, Lord, protecting them, Lord, even protecting their minds right now, Lord. Lord, protect them from people that want to speak unpleasant things to, about them, Lord. Protect them, Lord. Protect them, Lord. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who who is the perfect example of, of, of a sinless nature, Lord, who accepted who he was fully, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for Jesus. 
for the very thing which he did on Calvary many, many years ago, Lord, and that he rose up with all power. So we thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for, for, for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for, re for helping us to understand the importance of renewing our minds. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. It is these things that we ask for in the name of Jesus. We do pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. He is our refuge and our very present help in time of trouble. God is so good. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, so yeah, that is day 16. We are moving forward in this thing for 30 days. Um, um, unless God tells me to continue. Um, so important that, um, I do this unto the authority of, uh, God almighty, um, <clears throat> to make sure that, um, yeah, and they just help each other out. You know, praying is such a, I mean, Praying is like, you know, as much as we want that good morning text from our boo, just waking up, I feel like is that good morning text from God. <laughs> like, that's what I need. Um, and just really praying to him and talking to him um, and just having a continuous conversation improves your relationship. And I'm so thankful for that. And I'm thankful for you watching um, as we utilize the tools of social media. So I pray that you save this. Um, I hope that this has helped you in any way. Like I said, it's helped me because there are times where I struggle, where I don't feel like I'm enough. And like I said, when people come into our path and they say really rough things to you, um, just know who you are and, and who you are, according to the word of God. Um, <clears throat> just to serve as a reminder, you are beautiful. You are handsome. I love you. Have a fantastic day.